Okay, now I want to move on to look at post-depositional processes. Whatever stratigraphic sequence we've got can be overprinted by post-depositional processes. And soil formation is the classic one, but there are others. And the point I want to make here is that when you sit there and look at, say, uh, the stratigraphic sequence of a North Australian rock shoulder, you know, with uh, organic staining at the top and paler sands at the bottom, by and large you're not looking at actual stratigraphy, you're looking at uh, you're looking at the overprinting of the stratigraphy by younger processes. The classic example, as I said, is soil development. You know, in, a soil, in a soil horizon, of course, you've got uh, uh, a zone of organic enrichment, and you've got a zone uh, where the, the fine mobile material is leached out, the clays particularly, and you get a, a zone of enrichment, the sea horizon, where you get enrichment in carbonates and clays and things like that. Now these same processes will operate on a site, an archaeological deposit. Uh, if it's subject to uh, uh, a lot of uh, weathering and if it's stable enough and it has enough time for this to start to operate. So characteristically what you might get is compaction of deposit and loss of organics over time. Uh, you might get bioturbation uh, uh, by invertebrates and a loss of uh, the detail, the fine detail in the deposit, uh, as interfaces and features are disturbed by you know, burrowing insects and things. Uh, you might get some um, um, reorganisation of the matrix as the clays are washed down through the system or the, or the iron is mobilised. Um, you might get the formation of new minerals. Carbonates may, uh, may precipitate out, uh, sesquioxides. And you might get Pedogenesis, which is generally just the formation of soil horizons, clay aggregates, grain cutowns. Uh, the voids might in the, in, in, in the sediments might get filled, lined by clay, and so forth. Um, the real message here is that when you, when, you, when you look at a stratigraphic sequence, some of the things that, that may be most obvious to you in terms of colouring may be due to the secondary alteration of the sequence. So don't get misled by simple things like colour and organics. Try and look beneath them to look at the structure of the, uh, the sedimentary sequence. And it's, and it's very common in North Australia that the, the actual stratigraphic sequence is more cryptic and the most obvious thing is the, um, the, the post-depositional processes that move all fine-grained organics around.